What is up, super fans? I'm Matt Stockholm, and this is another edition of The Quantum Corner. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below. That will enter you into our giveaway, which I will talk more about at the end of the video. Okay, so for today's video, I want to talk about two updates that come from Kevin Feige himself. I want to talk about a spoiler for Captain Marvel that involves Nick Fury's eye. And then I want to talk about a theory that I have that ties Captain Marvel, Nick Fury, Doctor Strange, and Ant-Man to the events of Infinity War as well as Avengers Endgame. Okay, first up, let's talk about the updates from Kevin Feige. The first one, he actually debunked something. Uh, there's been a lot of stuff going out there about the Black Widow movie and apparently being a possible rated R movie. Well, Kevin Feige stated that this is not true, that it will not be rated R. <laughs> I actually thought it'd be really cool to be a rated R movie. Knowing her backstory, it definitely fits. So this was a little of a bummer, but I'm sure it'll still be good. The second bit of information is about the Guardians of the Galaxy 3 movie. Apparently, Kevin Feige has given the green light to use James Gunn's script in the movie. So I think this could definitely help. I mean, it sucks that there is going to be another director, but using his script should help to kind of keep the flow of things the way that Gunn has had it. Okay, with all the screenings that are going on, there's been a lot of stuff about Captain Marvel leaking out over the last few days. Now, this bit of information involves Nick Fury's eye, which him losing the eye in the movie is not necessarily a spoiler because uh, the Russos and Kevin Feige already stated that you'll see that in the movie, but the spoiler is how it happens. Are you ready? His eye is taken out by Goose the Cat. I know, mind blown. Um, I was a little like, eh, when I heard this, but I'm definitely curious that if this is how it happens, you know, how does it get to that place? I think that a, a good part could be with all the scroll stuff happening, maybe this is a way to find out that Nick Fury isn't actually the real Nick Fury. Um, for you that don't know, when scrolls are injured, it usually causes them to morph back to their scroll shape. Alright, so a big question out there is why now? Why does Nick Fury page Captain Marvel now and not during the event of the first Avengers or even Age of Ultron? And I'm going to explain that right now. And to do that, we need to go back to Infinity War. I'm going to go back to the scene with Doctor Strange when he's looking at the 1 in 14 million possibilities. What if during this time, he not only looked at the future and the possibilities, but he travels back to the 90s to actually meet Nick Fury and Captain Marvel. And during this meeting, he explains what happens in the events um, going from Avengers to Avengers Endgame. Okay, so Doc Strange uh, explains who will survive which will let Fury know who to recruit in the future. And since they know the outcome of Avengers 1 and 2, there's no need for him to call Captain Marvel into Infinity War. The reason that she doesn't show up prior to the snap is because of Doctor Strange's plan. Doctor Strange's plan involves a snap happening to defeat Thanos. So this is why they don't call on Captain Marvel until the decimation has already happened. Okay, in another video I did, I talked about how I believe that some of Captain Marvel's powers come from the Quantum Realm. And I believe that with these abilities is how she is going to be able to navigate through the time vortexes. In the midst of her traveling back to the current timeline, this is where I believe she's going to find Ant-Man stuck in the Quantum Realm. And I believe that Doctor Strange waited purposely for Thanos Snap for Doctor Strange, or for Ant-Man to get stuck in the Quantum Realm so that when Captain Marvel is called upon, she will find him on her way through. Remember, with Nick Fury gone, and even Agent Hill gone, she's not going to really have anybody to connect with when she gets back to the current timeline. So I believe she is going to find Ant-Man, and he is going to be her connection to the Avengers. Now, because Captain Marvel travels from the 90s to the current time, which is about a 30-year gap, that is why people are not going to know who she is it's going to look like from the 90s till current that she basically just disappeared. And that's why no nobody really knows of her at this point. I think that Fury actually knows more than he's led on to, but because of his future knowledge, he doesn't want to butterfly effect multiple events. 
The term in-game refers to something from chess, and it basically means the final battle when all the pieces are in place and everything is set. And I believe that Fury and Doctor Strange are both going to be the master tacticians to putting all the pieces together for the end game. All right, well that's all I have for you today, guys. Uh, don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the theory. Let me know your theories. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Like this video and comment. That will enter you into our giveaway, which our next giveaway prize is at 200 subscribers. All right, guys. Well, for the Quantum Corner, I'm Matt Stockholm saying, stay super, everybody.